Ciao, ciao. Thanks for stopping in. Today we're journeying to a very special mountain. It's gonna get dirty and it's gonna get wild. Son, get me another beer. All by the side of our sweetest pie child. Wind whispers in the trees. Hidden secrets are hard to keep. Our destination today is a teeny tiny town. And when I say tiny, I mean it. The population was 72 people at the 2020 census. The city was founded in 1879 and is said to be Colorado's first mining camp west of the Continental Divide. It's not easy getting up here. What? I need to pee. We literally just peed. An hour ago. Oh, and this gas station's called Stinker. It's multiple hours. There's some very windy passes. And if you suffer from motion sickness, Monarch Pass is likely going to get you. Yeah, we're chilling out here. Ladies in the rear. Pit stop to stretch our legs. Get my Red Bull. What do you think of the drive so far, Carm? Now, don't get me wrong. When it comes to Colorado mountain towns, there are a lot to choose from, and this mama does love a bougie Breckenridge or Beaver Creek Resort. But almost just as much, I love an excuse to get dirty, skip some showers, and sit in the quietness of the outdoors. It's probably the little trailer park girl in me that grew up in Montana. And it looks like the apple might not fall far indeed. This place has meant a lot of things to a lot of people over the decades, and I am really just a recent addition who gets to blissfully enjoy it with them. How old were you when you first came here? Two years old. I think they finished it in 1959. There is a lot of family identity, history, architecture, and in its own way, it rocks. romanticism to this place. Brandon brought me here for the first time in 2013, and I knew right then it was a place we would come back to. It just took us a little longer than planned. Thanks a lot, COVID. We've been looking forward to bringing Carmi here for a long time. I stand by you when you're falling. Hi, Carmi! When the river is calling. I said I love you forever. We can make it together. This is what Brandon does when he's not in the basement. How was it? Even after all these years, I didn't think this place could get any better. And then they decided to open a bar. Huckleberry Mules, boutique ice cream. We even caught live music on our last night there. Hey, bye-bye, stumbling moose. You've been good to us. Bye-bye. <laughs> but hands down, the best memories of Pitkin for me are usually the four-wheeler rides. Ooh, all right, baby. We're going on our first ride. We got Charlie on the back. We're going to get Justin and Judy. It's the best. Let's go. Far away from my hometown With my family I am bound I stick by them till I'm in the ground Ooh. This is the very first vacation that Brandon and I kind of came on together. Never rode a four-wheeler before him. And now every time we come out here, it's literally my favorite thing to do. Resting on the myth of old all of the stories have been told Secret places hidden well I've gone now as far as I can tell What is that flower called? Daisy <laughs> Retreating to this place always reminds us how important it is to recharge from the daily grind of the city from the never-ending households, the routine of Brandon's constant work, scheduling and overscheduling life and activities, from our cell phones, DVRs, our Alexas, and our Ubers. As much as I love all that stuff, I love
love the absence of it more.